Hey everybody, it's uh, Sean and Alvin from Factory Motors. We we're just in the process of completing another uh, high voltage battery repair, and we just wanted to share with you guys, uh, you know, what we've done and what you know what's possible, and uh, what, you know why we're the, probably the best choice to get any high voltage battery repair done uh, outside of Tesla. Alvin, can you uh, just tell it, uh, our viewers like what what failed in this battery? What did you do? How long did it take? And all those like, sort of good good details, please. There's a number, number of different ways that a battery can uh, fail, mm -hmm. uh, but in this particular case, uh, unfortunately, water ingress came in through the high voltage fuse mm -hmm. uh, and affected the isolation of a couple of different modules in this assembly. Okay. So we had to completely dismantle it, uh, inspect for any corrosion or damage, confirm that we didn't have any dry shorts in any of the cells pulling down a module. We have put it back together, confirmed our isolation as... Uh, well within specification, all our bus bar terminations are within specification. Mm -hmm. um, our pack balancing is uh, where it needs to be, and we're just about ready to actually put it back together and uh, put it back up in the car. Awesome. I know you personally really enjoyed doing this job, on, but on a scale of 1 to 10, can you just share with our viewers like how much fun was it for you to do this job? It was quite a bit of intense labor, yep. um, preparing all the gasket surfaces, and taking continual measurements, confirming everything that was the way that it's supposed to be was quite a bit of fun, but it was a, quite a, an intense labor. Um, oh, gosh. The reason I asked Alvin that question is uh, he'll tell you, he can tell you, but all of the uh, work to get the lid to seal properly and getting it done properly is an intense, loud job. And I'm sure your arms and ears are still sore from banging away to get this uh, yeah. done properly, right? Yeah, the, as well as the, the, the technical side of the repair, there, there is a lot of banging and scraping and, yeah. and gasket prep that, that consumes the job. But ultimately, if we don't get this to seal absolutely perfectly, yeah. um, it, it won't oper continue to operate years down the road. Absolutely. Uh, which is the minimum goal that we are hoping to achieve. Yep. And, and just so uh, customers and viewers have an idea, it's about, what, say, seven to ten working days to get this from start to finish? Uh, probably four to five. Four to five? Okay. Yeah. yeah. There, there's there's a, lot, a great deal of work that goes into it with all the measurements and confirming everything's the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, like, if you're recharging a module assembly, um, you can't make a, a battery charger move faster, right? Yep. Um, if you're waiting for silicone to dry, you, you can't make it really go yep. faster, right? Totally understand. Yeah. Totally understand. And so for uh, customers that may be outside of their battery warranty now, um, we uh, at Factory, we offer a high voltage battery repair, and uh, yep. we're probably the best choice in uh, Vancouver at market area. Typically, you'll see what, like a maximum charge reduce alert, or what was... Um, you, there's a number of different failure modes, but mm -hmm. uh, maximum charge rate reduced. Um, you may have the vehicle just completely shut off once you arrive to it in the morning for yep. your morning commute, unfortunately. Yep. So if you, uh, for viewers at home, if you uh, if you have those situations, uh, please reach out to us. There's a lot of things that we can do to A, lower the cost of the, the repair, uh, B, get you back up and running quickly, and C, uh, help you out through this process because there's multiple different options that we can offer here. So if you have any questions or you know you have a high voltage battery issue, uh, feel, please feel free to reach out to us. Our best way to get a hold of us is at customercare at factorymotors.ca. Thank you.